Sideline reporter Josie Broyles here with head manager and skipper Mitch Carricker. Coach, I could go on and on about this team, about this game, about this entire season. Fell short today, but we made it first place in the West. How proud of you are you of this team? Man, uh, I can't even put into words how proud I am. You know, it's we've had a lot of guys here from the start, and everybody played a big part into it. And so grateful for, you know, their effort level, um, their commitment to the Hawks. And, you know, the way they played the game was, was awesome. And so I'm super proud of them. I feel bad that they don't get to keep playing, um, but there's a lot to be proud of tonight. You know, the Bourne Braves gave us quite the competition. What's something that you really noticed positively in this game and negatively that we could have improved on a little bit but kind of made up for a little bit with our positive plays as well? Yeah, I think, you know, we, we struggled to hit tonight. And, you know, um, you know they, they didn't give us really anything. And they were ahead in the count, felt like all night. And uh, on the other side, we, we weren't. Uh, we got into some deep counts, walked a few guys. And so uh, if we can, you know, eliminate that, I think we have a little bit better opportunities. Um, at the same time, Coach Landers has been doing this for a while, um, and he's been successful the last two years. And so I think for us, uh, handling the emotions of the game, and, you know, it's just different in the playoffs. And, um, you know, I think as a manager, I look back and I felt like I could have prepared our guys a little bit better for that. Um, but still, really proud of our guys for the way they fought, even though it was a tough night. Um, and hopefully we can come back here next year and do the same thing and play a little bit longer. And coach, I ask you all the time about the players, but I want to hear about yourself. What does this manager and coaching position really mean to you? You know, it's your first year here in the Cape. This must have been something you were looking forward to all year. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, you know, I think, you know, coaching at school, I'm focused on that. But at the same time, the Cape's in the back of my mind of like, okay, this is a really cool opportunity to come out here and, and coach some really special kids and um, be in a league that's so prestigious as the Cape. Um, and so everything, you know, since the time we've been here has exceeded our expectations. Um, very grateful for the opportunity from Dan and from Nick. And uh, hopefully they were pleased with our efforts this summer um, and looking forward to hopefully returning next year. Yeah, and coaching for the Hawks, I mean, you experienced a lot of community engagement. You had your wife here, your daughters were running around, and everyone was just couldn't have been nicer. How did you, what did you think about just the community here and what the Hawks have and just the fan experience that you really get here on the Cape? Yeah, I think, you know, it's a special place and um, each individual city is very proud of their team, right? And the Hawks in particular, you know, took my family in as their own and I'm very grateful for that. And the girls had an absolute blast, probably too much fun <laughs> at some point, at some times, yeah. but uh, man, what a, what a great experience for them. And um, really our players, I mean, they take really good care of our players and, and that's what it's about is making sure they have a good experience. Um, and I was just lucky enough to have a good experience myself. Yeah, and summer's coming to the end. I've got to ask what's, you know, outside of baseball, any like Cape Cod memory really pop up, just for something really special that you're going to remember for a really long time? Well, well, you can't talk about Cape Cod without the beach and the ice cream, right? Um, the beach was unbelievable. Uh, we went there numerous times, and then I think we tried like 10 different ice cream shops when we were here, um, and it was just really, really fun. That's what everybody talks about, and we soaked it up as much as we could. Anything that you're really going to take away from this experience, something that you've learned that you're just going to kind of carry with you for the rest of your career? Yeah, I think, you know, when you're dealing with this many athletes and they come and they go, it's still the importance of the relationship, right? And understanding, like, they're people, they're kids, and they want to be appreciated. They want to feel like you care about them. Uh, hopefully our guys felt that way from our coaching staff. Um, and that's something that I think helps you be successful. Um, so I'm going to continue doing that, whether it's at school, whether it's here, or any other place I coach. I think just developing those relationships and making sure the kids know, hey, we care about you and we want to do what's best for you. Well, Coach, I think I'm speaking for everyone when I say thank you so much for caring about this team. You're really just create such a good community here. You were nice to everyone, and I think we all really deeply appreciate that. So thank you so much, and congrats on a really great, great season. Thanks, thank Josie. you. Appreciate it. Matt, Coach here, field side after a tough loss in the wild card round to the Bourne Braves. Sitting next to our Harbor Hawks Baseball Network Player of the Year, Kane. Obviously, this is not the way anyone wanted the season to end. But reflecting back now, you had a phenomenal season for this team. Since day one, you've been here with us. Could you just sum up your experience in a few words? Well, I mean, it's it's all about the brotherhood, like meeting the guys. I mean, any summer ball season is about the team that you that you get to play with. And, man, I, I, I'm going to have friendships here for the rest of my life because I, I came here and played. So, like, leaving here today, it's, it makes me feel good because I get to text every single one of them anytime I want. And, I mean, that, that's the thing I want to take away. No, it does, it's not the game. It's the, it's the brotherhood that we had here. Brotherhood, indeed, is such a big thing when it comes to summer ball. 
any a few teammates in particular that you can think of now that you know you're going to have a bond with going forward down the line? Oh, it's 100% Michael Detala. I mean, I I came to the park with him every day. He was he was a day one like me as well, and it's we we hit together all the time and. Uh, the, the conversations were a lot of fun, and man, it's it's a it's a friendship that I'm gonna have for the rest of my life, and I'm so glad I got to meet him here and, and play with him every single day. And Kep, I know summer ball is a lot about what's off the field, but it's hard to ignore what you did on the field in the regular season: 38 games, 38 walks, setting a new record for the Highness Harbor Hawks in the Wood Bat era. Phenomenal player, getting on base. Let's talk about what your approach did that allowed you to get those numbers. Well, I mean, it, it, that's been me ever since I was little. Like I've been, I've been working counts, trying to get on base, like uh, ever since showcase ball and travel ball in high school. Like it's, it's something that that is me. Like that's when you think it can't help it, he's gonna get on base, and that's what I like people to hear and like, what people to think. And it's, it's that's never gonna change with me. What whatever level I play at, and it's it's something I, I enjoy. I, I enjoy putting my work in for that and find a find a way to get on base anyway and help my team win because I love winning. It was clear you loved winning Kane. Played with so much passion night in and night out. Such a fun player for this Harbor Hawks team to get to watch. So just as a whole, thank you very much for the work you put in for this Hawks. Obviously not the way we wanted it to end, but you made your mark so far in the season. So thank you, Kane Capley. Yeah, thank you all so much. It's been a pleasure doing these interviews with you all and having a good time. A pleasure, definitely. Welcome you field side here at McKeon Park for the final time. And it's a Hawk Talk tradition that as the season ends, we bring the entire production squad on that have brought you Harbor Hawks baseball all summer long. Highness can't get the job done against Bourne in this single game. So it's time for the favorite moment of the summer. I'll start to my right, our broadcast partner, Nico Sharp. Favorite moment of the summer, good sir. Wow, I was really hoping we were gonna come to me first. You know, there. I mean, I have to get the cheesy answers. I mean, it's been two years. You know, it's it's all the it's every single moment built up where it's, you know, you spend so much time at the field. You know, you don't really get a choice. You know, you were kind of forced into friendship, amongst the all of us, and it's pretty awesome. But then off the field, you know, you go to dinner together. You spend a lot of time together. It's you come in as strangers to like all the, a lot of the new people in your first time, and then you leave as as best friends. That's why everyone's kind of teary eyed. You know, you build a family here in one summer. We spend every day with each other, so it's. It's all the moments combined for me and that just have, have made the summer what it was. Yeah, made the summer what it was indeed. Zoe, production assistant, favorite moment for the summer? The food on the broadcast. This is, good. This is so true. Joe and Harry treated us to some ice cream cake, some pizza, tacos. We had a little bit of everything on the broadcast. Now, I'll shoot to my left. We'll go Josie Broyles. Josie, favorite moment for the summer? Jake, this is a really hard question. I know. This is super hard. Okay, I have a couple. I think one, just everyone really taking me in. A lot of the broadcast team were coming in for their second year, and I, it was my first year, and everyone was really nice and supportive. So thanks, guys. So that was probably one of my favorite parts, just getting to know everyone. Um, also meeting a lot of cool people, a lot of cool interns from different places, a lot of cool people interning from other teams. I think that was a really good part of my summer, just to meet a ton of people that like the same thing I do, and it's really cool to do that. Yeah, very cool indeed. We'll push past you. We'll go to Chase Avery, the roommate, the producer, the person that might give me more gray hairs than my mom. Chase, <laughs> favorite moment from the summer? So I thought this question was like game related, so I'm going to stick with my answer. <laughs> um, when Cannon Peebles and was Dalton Bargo, Dalton Bargo <laughs> back to back home runs twice at YD. Yeah. Yeah. Those were my two favorite moments. Hi. Yes. Look at you stays baseball related we'll now push past we'll go Matt Coates favorite moment from the summer um I'm gonna think in the same vein as Chase baseball related the 4-2 victory just about a week ago over the two Cataliers where we jumped into first place in the west then never relented great moment for the team everyone was living and dying by each pitch and it was great to get that victory at Lowell Park against a rival as the lights go out oh. at McKeon Park for the 2024 season that was a special moment. Yeah, special moment indeed. And lights go out. Can't can't win anything. We'll go, Josh Schreiber. Let's go. What do we got? Favorite moment of the summer? I mean, I'm not gonna go with the corny answer. I'm gonna go with the uh, Dalton Bargo walk off. One of the first walk offs of the year. First walk off hit. Kind of gave you the the feel that this was gonna be a special end of the season. So cool. Also with the yet. Matt Coates answer to it's not even ten. You know, get everything going, but. Yeah, that, that's my moment. Not even 10 o'clock. Lights going out here. 
Daniel Badalino, step up. Is that still my sweatshirt? It is still your sweatshirt. Nice. Um, he took mine, so I guess I'll go win the uh, win the uh, West. I mean, that was pretty good. Uh, had a good time with that. That was pretty nice. And then off the field, I mean, I enjoyed trivia. I enjoyed making the tri- trivia for you guys, just giving random name drops for random uh, MLB players. I was the one who found out Kepley was nearing the rec- walk record. Nice. Just taking credit for that. Um, <laughs> so, but just, you know. The four hours before the home games, two and a half hours before the road games, just communicating and working together. It was awesome. Hey, working together, that's part of the life. Let's go. C. Adams, camera op extraordinaire. What do we got? Well, I was the last one in. I'll be the last one out on this. You know, career-wise, I was probably doing some play-by-play innings in our last home game or our last game in general in the regular season. That was fun. But personal-wise, it had to be, and there's the standings. That was a great moment in the broadcast. (laughs) I enjoyed it a whole lot. But I have a lot of time left in my college career. Hopefully I'm welcome back next year, but this has been a great group to be a part of. Very well said. Very well said. I think my favorite moment of the summer – is when Harry and Joe surprised us with ice cream cake on the broadcast. After talking about it for three weeks, we finally had the opportunity to taste part of that delicious ice cream cake from Kilwins. So that was maybe the best moment of the summer. And then credit to our production staff rolling out with it. My family still has that video of me being like, this is the greatest thing ever. But really, it's really the people. As you can see here, we have a great group that became best friends in about three minutes. So for the final time, this is Hawk Talk for Zoe Green, for Matt Coates, for Josh Schreiber, for Nico Sharp, for Dan Bottolino, for Charlie Adams, for Chase Avery, and for Josie Broyles. I'm Jacob Irons saying so long from McKeon Park. We'll Hawk Talk in 2025.